Life is like a series of gifts from God, and sometimes, those gifts come in the form of unexpected blessings. It's like receiving a surprise package that you never knew was coming. Exciting, right? But here's the thing, what you do next, how you react to those blessings can make all the difference. Imagine your life as a beautiful tapestry woven with threads of both challenges and blessings. God's blessings are like those vibrant threads intricately adding color and depth to the fabric of your existence. But here's the catch. How you handle those threads, how you weave them into the tapestry of your life determines the beauty of the final masterpiece. So, in this message, we're delving into the art of weaving, weaving a life that reflects gratitude, humility, and reverence for the divine gifts we receive. It's not just about receiving, it's about how we respond when God blesses us. Intrigued? You should be. Let's embark on this journey together and discover the transformative power of a humble and grateful heart. I will also say a special prayer, a prayer that aligns with the very essence of the message. So, grab a comfy seat, buckle up, and let's get started. When God blesses you, there's something profound, something transformative that happens in your life. It's not just about receiving, it's about how you respond to those blessings. In these moments, it's like the creator of the universe, the one who knows the very fabric of your being is extending a divine hand towards you. The blessings aren't random, they are tailor-made for you. Imagine a personal love letter from God, written in the language of your life experiences. And as you unwrap these blessings, there's an invitation to dance with the rhythm of gratitude. It's a dance that aligns your heart with the heartbeat of the divine, a melody that resonates with the sacredness of the connection between you and your Creator. So, as we explore the essence of keeping your mouth closed in the face of these blessings, remember, it's not just about keeping silent, it's about listening to the symphony of grace that plays in the quiet moments where the soul meets its Maker. Stick around, because by the end of this message, you'll discover the power of a heart in tune with the divine melody. Gratitude and Humility you see, gratitude and humility aren't just polite gestures, they are the heartbeats of a meaningful life. Gratitude is like a magnetic force that draws more blessings into your life. When you acknowledge the good things with a thankful heart, it opens the door for God to pour in even more. It's easy to get caught up in the excitement of blessings, isn't it? Life showers us with good things, and we often feel that surge of joy. But have you ever stopped to think about where that joy comes from? When God blesses you, it's not just about receiving material or emotional gifts, it's an invitation to a deeper connection. Gratitude, my friend, is the key that unlocks the fullness of the blessing. It's more than just saying thank you, it's a posture of the heart. Imagine receiving a beautifully wrapped gift. You wouldn't just toss it aside, would you? No, you'd unwrap it with care appreciating the thought and effort behind it. Similarly, gratitude unwraps the blessings in our lives with a sense of awe and appreciation. 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 18 Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Humility, on the other hand, is not about thinking less of yourself, it's about thinking of yourself less. It's understanding that, Every blessing is a gift, not an entitlement. When God blesses you, it's an acknowledgement that you are loved beyond measure. Humility is your response to that love, a recognition that every good thing comes from above. As we embrace humility, we position ourselves to receive God's favor in abundance. Proverbs 15 verse 33 The fear of the Lord is instruction in wisdom, and humility comes before honor. In your journey with God, let gratitude be the melody of your heart and humility be the posture of your soul. As you navigate the landscape of blessings, remember that a heart filled with gratitude and humility is a heart aligned with the very heartbeat of heaven. Psalm 103 verse 2 Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. So, beloved, 
Let's cultivate a spirit of gratitude and humility. It's not just a response, it's a lifestyle that transforms ordinary moments into extraordinary blessings. May your gratitude be boundless and your humility be the key that unlocks the doors to God's abundant grace. Colossians 3 verse 15 And let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, to which indeed you were called in one body. And be thankful. Sacredness of Blessings Blessings are not mere strokes of luck. They are sacred gifts from a loving God. When we talk about the sacredness of blessings, it's understanding that each blessing is like a personal message from the divine, tailor-made for you. In the stillness of these moments, God is speaking to your heart. James 1 verse 17 Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of lights, with whom there is no variation or shadow due to change. Imagine your life as a beautiful tapestry and each blessing is a carefully woven thread contributing to the masterpiece that is your story. The sacredness lies in recognizing that these blessings are not arbitrary, they are purposeful and filled with God's love. In moments of quiet reflection, when you marvel at the beauty of a blessing, you're essentially acknowledging the sacred nature of that gift. It's an opportunity to connect with the divine to express gratitude, not just for what you've received, but for the love and intention behind it. Proverbs 16 verse 20 Whoever gives thought to the word will discover good, and blessed is he who trusts in the Lord. When we treat our blessings as sacred, it changes our perspective. It shifts our focus from mere material gain to the spiritual significance of each gift. The sacredness of blessings invites us to look beyond the surface and recognize the hand of God at work in our lives. So, as you navigate the journey of life, consider the sacredness of your blessings. Approach them with awe and reverence, knowing that in each one, God is whispering, I see you, I love you, and I am with you. Jeremiah 29 verse 11 For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans for welfare, and not for evil, to give you a future and a hope. Embrace the sacredness of your blessings and let it deepen your connection with the divine. In doing so, you'll find that your journey becomes more than a series of fortunate events, it becomes a sacred tapestry woven by the hands of a loving creator. Modesty and Self-Restraint In a world that often celebrates self-promotion and oversharing, God's call to modesty and self-restraint stands as a timeless beacon of wisdom. When God blesses you, it's not just about the blessings themselves, but about the character you develop in the process. Modesty in Actions Modesty goes beyond appearances, it's reflected in your actions. When blessed, strive to be modest in your achievements. Remember, true greatness lies not in the magnitude of your success, but in the impact it has on others. Let your kindness and generosity shine as a testament to the goodness bestowed upon you. Self-restraint in speech Self-restraint in speech is a virtue that can safeguard the sanctity of your blessings. While it's natural to be excited about God's favor, exercising restraint in what you say allows others to witness the grace in your life without feeling overshadowed. Pause before speaking and let your words carry the weight of humility. Proverbs 15 verse 1 a gentle answer turns away wrath, but a harsh word stirs up anger. Balancing Success and Humility Success and humility can coexist. It's not about downplaying your achievements, but recognizing that every accomplishment is a collaboration between your efforts and God's grace. When you embrace modesty and self-restraint, you create space for God's light to shine through your successes. Colossians 3 verse 12 Therefore, as God's chosen people, holy and dearly loved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience, teaching others through example. Your life becomes a living sermon when you embody modesty and self-restraint. Others may be inspired, not only by your accomplishments, but by the way you navigate success 
with grace and humility. Use your blessings as an opportunity to uplift and encourage those around you. 1 Timothy 4 verse 12 Let no one despise you for your youth, but set the believers an example in speech, in conduct, in love, in faith, in purity. Remember, in the journey of faith, modesty and self-restraint become guiding lights, ensuring that the impact of your blessings is felt far beyond your immediate circle. Embrace these virtues and let the world witness the beauty of a life touched by God's goodness. Spiritual Wisdom God's blessings come wrapped in layers of spiritual wisdom, like precious gifts, waiting to be unwrapped. When we talk about spiritual wisdom, we're talking about insights that go beyond the surface. It's about understanding the deeper purpose behind the blessings you receive. Consider this, every blessing in your life is an opportunity for growth and connection with the divine. It's not just about the immediate joy it brings, but the lessons it holds. In times of blessings, take a moment to seek the wisdom God embeds within them. Proverbs 2 verse 6 For the Lord gives wisdom, from his mouth come knowledge and understanding. God's wisdom isn't some mystical concept reserved for scholars and theologians. It's practical guidance for your everyday life. In the context of blessings, it means recognizing the responsibility that comes with abundance. It prompts us to ask, how can I use these blessings to uplift others? How can I align my actions with God's wisdom? When you approach blessings with an eagerness to learn, you open yourself to a continuous cycle of receiving and growing. It's not just about receiving material wealth, it's about becoming spiritually richer through understanding and applying the wisdom that accompanies each blessing. So, as you navigate the path of gratitude and humility, don't overlook the treasure trove of spiritual wisdom that God is offering you. Let your blessings be a source of not just joy, but also of profound insight into His plan for your life. James 1 verse 5 If any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask God, who gives generously to all without reproach, and it will be given him. Remember, spiritual wisdom is not distant or elusive. It's a gift God eagerly bestows upon those who seek it. Stay tuned, keep your heart open, and let the spiritual wisdom embedded in God's blessings guide your steps on this faith journey. Avoiding Boasting The caution against boasting is a crucial aspect of our response to God's blessings. Boasting not only risks overshadowing the true source of our blessings, but also has practical implications in our relationships and spiritual journey. In everyday terms, boasting can create distance between you and others. It might unintentionally make those around you feel less fortunate or undervalued. As followers of Christ, our call is not just to receive blessings, but to share in the joy of others and uplift them. Galatians 6 verse 4 But let each one test his own work, and then his reason to boast will be in himself alone and not in his neighbor. Moreover, boasting can lead to a distorted view of success. It might foster a mindset that places value solely on material gains, neglecting the deeper spiritual and relational aspects of our lives. God's blessings are holistic, touching every aspect of our being, and boasting can hinder us from fully appreciating their depth. 1 Corinthians 1 verse 31 So that, as it is written, let the one who boasts, boast in the Lord. Avoiding boasting isn't about downplaying achievements or living a muted life, it's about recognizing the interconnectedness of our journey with others. By doing so, we create an environment where everyone's blessings are acknowledged, celebrated, and woven into the beautiful tapestry of God's grace. In essence, when you keep your mouth closed about your blessings, you're not diminishing their significance. Instead, you're allowing a space for genuine connection, shared joy, and a more profound understanding of the richness of God's blessings. So, as you navigate the week ahead, let your actions reflect the humility and gratitude that come from a heart aligned with God's purpose. In doing so, 
you not only honor the giver of blessings, but also contribute to a community where each person's journey is valued and celebrated. Stay blessed. Now, let's make this journey practical. Your challenge, starting today, is to actively practice humility and gratitude in your daily life. Take a moment each day to reflect on a blessing, big or small, and express gratitude. Maybe it's a beautiful sunrise, a supportive friend, or a simple meal on your table. But here's the twist, instead of just thinking about it, find a tangible way to share your blessings. It could be lending a helping hand to someone in need, offering a kind word, or contributing to a charitable cause. Acts of kindness not only magnify the impact of your blessings, but also spread positivity in a world that often needs it. So, here's your action plan. 1. Reflect daily. Set aside a few minutes each day to reflect on a blessing and express gratitude. 2. Share your blessings. Find a way to share your blessings with others. It could be through a kind gesture, a thoughtful word, or a helping hand. 3. Spread positivity. In a world that can be challenging, your acts of kindness can create ripples of positivity. Be intentional about spreading joy and encouragement. 4. Share your experience. Share your experiences in the comments about the blessings you received and how those blessings affect the lives of others in a positive way. Let's inspire each other with stories of gratitude and kindness. Remember, it's not just about receiving blessings, but also about becoming a blessing to others. May your actions radiate the love and grace you've received. Stay blessed. Before we wrap up, let's bow our heads for a moment of prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the abundant blessings you pour into our lives, both seen and unseen. As we reflect on this message, guide us to internalize the importance of humility, gratitude, and reverence in the face of your blessings. In our prayers, let's not just ask for more blessings, but also for the wisdom to steward them well. May we use our blessings to be a blessing to others, spreading your love and grace in tangible ways. Help us remember that every good gift comes from you, and in recognizing this, may our hearts overflow with gratitude. Lord, grant us the strength to navigate the challenges that come with blessings, keeping our focus on you. Forgive us for the times we've boasted in our own achievements, and instead, teach us to boast in understanding and knowing you. As we go forth from this moment of reflection, empower us to live out the lessons we've learned today. May our actions be a testimony to your goodness and grace. Bless each person watching this video with your peace, joy, and a deeper understanding of your love. In Jesus' name, we pray, Amen. Thank you for joining me today on this inspiring journey of faith. Before you go, let me share a bit more with you. Remember, humility is not weakness, it's strength under control. It's about acknowledging that every good thing in our lives comes from the Almighty. As we navigate this blessed life, let's actively seek opportunities to be a blessing to others. Whether through a kind word, a helping hand, or simply sharing the wisdom gained from our journey, let's amplify the ripple effect of God's blessings in the world. Before we part ways, remember to hit that subscribe button, like this video if it spoke to you, and share it with friends and family. Let's spread the message of humility, gratitude, and God's love to every corner of the digital world. Until next time, stay blessed, stay humble, and let your light shine brightly. Amen.